Taking a timeout straight ahead, the INS has made some fixes to a system that has left terrorists in the United States. Have they gone far enough? We'll straight see ahead. next. Welcome. The INS has just set new rules to better handle the influx of immigrants and tourists. Will they work? Or are the rules just a band-aid because there are bigger problems? Dan Stein is the executive director of FAIR. It is the Federation for American Immigration Reform. And he joins us now from Washington, D.C. Thanks for being with us. Let's, let's talk about the changes. The first one is in approving student visas. Tell me about that. Uh, INS is finally saying what they should have said all along, which is we're not going to allow a student to enroll in uh, a, a university until they actually get the approved visa from the INS. Many will remember that uh, some of the hijackers actually enrolled and took their classes for flight training uh, months, months, year and a half before the INS actually sent the approval notices. But there was also the complaint that the INS was so slow that they had technically been approved, just hadn't gotten the notices in the mail. Well, there was some built-in expectation of delay, but uh, what the commissioner, INS Commissioner Jim Ziegler is saying, uh, and we hope he's right on this, is that uh, there's going to be a prompt uh, approval and, it's, and that schools won't be allowed to enroll an alien in uh, student programs until they actually get that approval from Congress. Also, the INS... Uh, from the INS, I'm right. sorry. The INS proposing to restrict tourist and business travelers to a 30-day stay. It had been six months. What does that do to help us? Well, th that, that theoretically should help better control the process of who's admitted into the country in the first place, better inspections, better scrutiny of who's coming and why they're coming. How? I mean, I don't see why... Well, the, 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 the they're trying numbers. to understand... They want to understand, Edie, better why the alien's coming into the country before they allow them in and, and shorten the the time of stay to allow the person to do exactly what they say they're coming to do and no longer. So before you had these blanket admissions of six months for, for, for tourist visas, a tremendous problem with visa overstays and quite frankly we started saying how we still think this is a band-aid. While it might help peripherally on the inter exterior in helping prevent people from coming that may do us harm, we still don't have a, a solution to the problem of people who don't leave when they're supposed to. Uh, well, that was exactly what I was going to bring up. We may know that, I mean, if they're going to come in, if, if their intent is to come in here and basically get lost, right. you know, stay, they can come in and still say, okay, I'm coming here for 30 days for a, uh, to, to tour New the York or yeah. whatever. And then at the end of the 30 days, we can't find them. Well, the well, same thing after six months. What's the difference? Edie, you're putting your finger on exactly the problem in this country. There's no penalty if you don't play by the rules. Right. If you ignore immigration law, there are powerful advocates in this country that persist in pressuring Congress and the Immigration Service to ignore the fact that aliens don't play by the rules. And so you have provisions that reward people who overstay visas don't leave when they're supposed to. We need document reform, state and local driver's license reform. We need uh, certainly far better okay. interior enforcement and dramatic increase in the personnel and resources to go out and get you if you don't leave. Well, Dan, we're getting into a political area that's a little sticky there because we're not just talking about tourists. We're also talking about a lot of immigrants who are here perhaps from Mexico or elsewhere that uh, are would people are courting. Four votes. Right. Well, you've got politicians on both sides. That's uh, right. President Bush, the Democrats in Congress, who want to basically pander to the ethnic Hispanic vote and say, hey, amnesty for millions of Mexicans here. We've got eight million people here illegally. Why wouldn't we first cut down the level of immigration until we can, A, get the INS working, the Immigration Service working, Because it's not politically B, correct. And what's changed there? Well, what's, what's changed there now is the American people have basically said, you know what, FAIR has been right for years in saying this. Unless you cut back the level of immigration, you can't stop terrorism if you don't control immigration. The, the public is not only in agreement on that, voters are adamant that something serious needs to be done. And the longer both political parties fail to recognize that everything has changed, and the public is fed up with illegal immigration and uh, ineffective border control, both parties are acting at their peril. Okay. There is a loophole, though, that you have discovered. What is it? Well, look, Congress is constantly passing laws. The House, under pr administration pressure, passed this loophole that allows illegal aliens to, to stay in the country to get a green card, even instead of leaving the country for overstaying the visa. Okay, and so what you we break discovered the law, is, you're here, we catch you, and we say, right. it's okay, stay. 
Well, yeah, Congress in 1996 said, forget this, if you don't play by the rules, you don't play the game. And what did Congress then go back and do? Say, all right, we're going to forget that. You know, we're going to say, all right, if you overstay a visa and you're, and you're otherwise eligible to come in as an immigrant, you're going to be allowed to stay in the country instead of leaving and being barred from reentry for years because you broke the law. Congress is, re is rewarding overstays. But what we discovered at FAIR is, hey, if you are in fact associated with terrorist organizations, you can actually apply for this new form of relief and, and, and take advantage of the procedural benefits of making that application. Congress obviously didn't know it was doing that, but that's the problem with Congress always coming under pressure, in this case by the President, President Bush, to pass these loopholes, these special okay. exceptions that have created the chaos we're in today. Well, whether these ch the changes uh, make a difference or not, we'll see, but at least someone is addressing the problem. Thank, Thank you. you very much for joining us. Dan Stein, Executive Director of FAIR, uh, the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Stay right there. More Fox and Friends after this.